Hello everybody, this is Rage, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald Let's Play! Hey, in the last episode, we took on Unrock Fan Jam. Little Mac totally sweeped the whole thing. Right now the washing machine in in is going on. So sort of continuing the trend of having a bad recording came from last episode is going on right now. I'm gonna close the door to uh Lower the volume of them. Okay, I closed my door slightly so my dog can get in because my mom and dad and my sister left to go do something. And so I have to leave my door open for the dog. So yeah, in this episode, we're gonna see something strange. And we don't even get to cross the uh, a path of the sign. Fine. Get out of <clears throat> Get out! Oh get out of the way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Well, it's not a familiar size. I'm gonna turn up the volume. But not turn it down. I'm gonna turn up the volume on the game a little bit. Still, we'll have no idea how to get rid of the sound thing to take on the right, and not the light, right, left side corner. So, yeah. Now, I did not have to edit that out, so you're gonna have to deal with it. And I'm going to heal up. So yeah, we're gonna see what in the world is going on with this guy. After we check out some cut spots. Right here, you can use cut to cut down on this tree. You need to get an item. Fix a cone, use cut. You shall get an axe accuracy. Not that handy. You have to use. You can only use it in battle. It increases the accuracy. You have your Pokemon, and so yeah. Other cut trees are over here. Allows you to get into a new area of Petalburg Woods, which includes the same Pokemon that we've been last time. And here comes the champ, Little Mac. I care to be all like, I'm Little Mac. I'm awesome. Um, oh yeah. And oh my god, we just got a miracle seed. That powers up grass type attacks. I'm gonna put that on Little Mac. Mac uh, not use it. Uh, I just had a two giant plates of spaghetti. He, he because uh, I waited till my parents left that for me to record. Hard, and it was after dinner. Uh, and I ate a lot of spaghetti, so my stomach sort of stuck. Um, uh, being uh, in a miracle seed there, and you can also find yourself a great ball. Oh, uh, now then, let us let's go back to whatever that guy was. Now then, let's see what's going on with that old guy. I, I don't know if he's old or something. By the way, since my door is open, flies may get in, so if I go like, Ehh! the reason why it's because there's flies in my room. So they don't usually come into my room, but I'm hoping they don't this recording. Oh, it's you. You're that that tough turtle who helped me in Pebbleburg Wood. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua, and I have to get the seven goods back. Like, if I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. How come whenever I, I do male voices, I don't stutter that much? But when I do female voices, I sort of stutter. I don't know. Random. We got ourselves a rappel. It lasts for a hundred steps. As, as when you use a rappel, it basically makes sure no Pokemon spawns near you. We have a bug guy! Beautiful music, isn't it? It, it is a beautiful voice. Sorry for the cut there, I just wanted to cut this guy's bow out. He had a worm pull and an Inkata. I'm telling you, I can probably remember the name of that Pokemon on after I, I, well, Look at a picture. But yeah, here we can find Whismur and in the uh, pre mansion and Ninkata. Uh, I uh, am not gonna use either of these Pokemon on my team, but I'm gonna catch them just so I can show you a cool thing, some cool things about them. Waiting. Thank you. Thank goodness for speed up.
Now and I'm thinking, I should probably just record, or at least not cut out required training battles, and it seems like we're going to come up with two required battles oh, right about here. I'm going to switch Lothead out, not Lothead Samba, out for, for Crag War, because Level Mac is just too overpowered. Going to this guy's lineup perfectly. So we can have another double battle. I actually quite like double battles. Well, they're fun. So we have two guys with a shroomage and a geodude, but we have flipping Little Mac and flipping Crybor here. We're gonna set up a little bit of Bleach Seed and burn the shroomage's butt off. One that's pretty interesting about double battles, you can actually attack your own Pokemon ally. So like I can attack. Shroomish with Ember, but uh, that doesn't sound very useful, does it? But if you have a Pokemon that has an ability like Water Absorb, you can attack its Pokemon with Water Absorb or, and make a good gain HP because Water Absorb, when you use Water Absorb or, and you get hit by a Water type attack, uh, you gain HP. So if I hit a Pokemon with Water Absorb or that is on my team, it will heal some HP. Which is pretty handy, it's pretty handy. Crygor is now level 15. Time to spam the A button. Alright, I'm at A button. So yeah, since my door is open for my dog, so I need, need my dog may come in here where I say, like, hi, hi. I too bad, I am out. And another required trainer with a little We're just gonna wreck this guy with Little Mac. Because flipping Little Mac, flipping Little Mac is overpowered. Little Mac is officially the overpowered. He is level flipping 14. Okay, we I haven't trained Little Mac at all before for the episode where we took on the gym. And he is already level 14. Maybe he has a nature that raises special defense and special attack. Or maybe he, he Shroomishes usually have that sort of thing. I don't know, but Shroom, but Little Mac is just wrecking everything. Well, seems like we have an old guy here. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, we were on a, a walk, Pico and I. When we were jumped by an odd thug, Scout drove me off with me, Pico, my darling Pico. Alright, Pico. Welcome to Basky Wismer K. You know how annoying Zubats are? The only thing you can find here are Wismers. Wismer, Wismer! Wismer evolves into Loudrin and then next to Explode. Uh, that's one I know for sure. But anyway, you can get a Pokeball here, a literal Pokeball, oh well, not just an Iron Ball, whatever. I was broke there. But it's a 100% and spawn rate of you just finding a Wizmer. Don't worry, Pico, I'll save you. What are you who coming? You come and get something, huh? <laughs> Best Pokemon impression ever, right? <laughs> Key hard on. Oh, the hostage. His Pokemon turned out like to be worthless. And I think I made a good way in this tunnel or, or nowhere. Hey, you. So you want about me? My voice is killing me from hearing that voice. This guy is Poochiano, level 11, and let's throw a little Mac and wreck his face. Leech Seed. Pop puny tackle attack of nothing on Little Mac. I'm actually pretty good at playing Little Mac in Smash, actually. You know Smash Brothers? First, you know Little Mac's in Smash? He used to, he's actually a character from Punch-Out, a boxing game that Nintendo made. And, and I've always, and as I said it, it, on the other episode ago when we got one back, I, I, I just always imagined that Breloom is supposed to be like based on Little Mac 
Like, Broloom is like a... Broloom looks like a boxer to me. That's the only reason in, in why I think it could be fighting. That's the only reason... That's the only explanation I can come up with for why I, Broloom is a fighting... the part fighting type. We don't, we don't even need accuracy. We're just gonna sap the life force was from Fuchiana and win. Little Mac is now the same level as Lemon and Craig. Oh my god. Little Mac is overpowered. This is, is not. This is plan not right. Plan, oh, plan. I thought he said plan. That's the reason why I was having trouble there. The boss told me that uh, this, this would be a yeah, slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Davin. You won't hunt it back then that badly take it. I'm saying Davin goods. Oh, slight, silent burp there. Oh man, Pico, I am glad I you feel safe. Pico, I was here like you. They call me Mr. Briny. And you are? Ah, oh, through your rage. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that, that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage, is by the sea near Petalbrook Woods. Come, Pico, we should uh, make our way bold. Hey, Randy. Hey, Poppy. Franny just peered through my door. He's so adorable. He's so cute. He's all like, what's Ray doing? What's he doing? What am I doing? I'm recording. But yeah, I think we need to switch Little Mac out. Uh, so he's all like, uh, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> uh, not bad. But yeah, I think we need to switch Little Mac out because Oh my god, Little Mac is too strong. Too strong. Let's see what I did. I, I find stuff found. Don't he found a rappel? Up here, Serendi. Up here, dog. Come here. Come here. There you go. Seems like we have a little guest star. We have little baby Serenity. He curling up like a little cute puppy. I thought there was an item on there. Guess what's wrong? Roar! That goofy goo who hot-tailed it out of here. Or out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. Let's take a little secret route okay, through this path. I'm probably gonna uh, cut out. Get it? Cut. Out. Some. The. Well. Me going through this, but I will tell you what items I get. We just got a lot of dang money from beating these guys up. Up, up. But I'm gonna actually fight the rest of these trainers off camera. Uh, through the power of Dixie Kong's using cut, slice. What all the sign says? Trader tips. Your bag has several pockets. Stuff that you already know. Stuff that you already know. So yeah, basically just stuff we already know. <clears throat> we may have to listen to the beautiful cry of Slack off repeatedly because yeah, it's, uh, it's the sound that, that it makes. That is apparently called a cry. Many, many ways you can, can put that guy out of context. And just sound like a complete jerk. But yeah, we have some Pokemon berries. These back when I was like trying to figure out what ninja has for an wall. The name of Nikano was involved. We got a cherry berry that healed for office, but we got a pinap berry. I do not know what a pinap berry does. Look, I'm no berry expert. I'm heard her look. Uh, but we do have a chesto berry. Chesto Rusto. So chesto berries is heal sleep ailment. And basically, if you use a, a move called rest, which basically heals plus you up, up by, by putting you to sleep, he basically. You heal all the way up, but you have to be falling. But your Pokemon falls asleep. Even we can use a chest, 
you're gonna have Pokemon hold Chesco Berry, it will eat it, and and it shall uh, awaken. It's very good in competitive battle. Well, so good that it it will has been dubbed the, the Chesto Rusto strategy. Apparently. Ether heals PP. He he wins your your moves. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, battle these these guys off camera and ooh, an Ninkada! Uh, this is our first time seeing an Ninkada. Now we're gonna actually catch it because I would actually like to uh, figure out what the flip if its name is. It's animal surplus, its evolutions are actually pretty good. But the one that I cannot remember the name of, Nin... Jeff? Ninja? I don't remember. One of its evolutions, the one that doesn't have 1 HP, has actually a very high speed sack. One of the fastest Pokemon in long recorded Poke history, I guess I would say. Hey, it's pretty good. I'm gonna switch out to Krag because I think Krag can tank, tank this um ninja more. I'm gonna throw a premier ball at it. It does not want to be in the shiny shiny premier ball. I shall use a great ball. Boop, 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 bing. We call ourselves a Ninkada! Uh Ninkada. It makes its nest at the roots of mighty tree. Of a mighty tree, using its its whisker-like antenna, uh, it props. It provides what I I do not know what that word is. Its surroundings in the, the pitch black darkness of soil. The tranit tranit. I there's just a lot of words I can't say. I'm going to name you Ninja. Probably gonna spell ninja somehow incorrectly, but still. Nin ja. Probably spelled ninja incorrectly. D I've been using L this whole time. So Dixie calling is actually Dilsey. When we find the name raider, I'm going to change that. But yeah, it was sent to our box, and when you have more than six Pokemon in your team, it gets sent to the box. But yeah, here is that guy. Hey, oh, how did you... How did it go? Oh, the, the Dalvin Goods. We're going to let him finish that sentence in the next episode. See you on the next level, gamers.